Good day, uh, paint pouring community. Uh, Jilly Cube here doing a, a bit of a larger canvas today, and I can't get it all in on my particular setup, but it's a commission, so I'm hoping it turns out well. And I thought I would um, take you along on the journey with me um, of this piece because I'm pretty excited about it. It's all the colours of the peacock, peacock colours. I did post the colours on my um, acrylic art by Julie Cube um, site last night showing what I was going to attempt today. So I'll tell you the colours as I, as I pour them. Um, my normal, I have pre-mixed all those up yesterday with my normal um this one is with elmer's glue as you all know if you've been following my journey i've tried all sorts of uh, pva glues as homemade pouring mediums and they all work to a certain degree but some are definitely better than others for different um pour techniques but today i'm going to go with that if you want a copy of this card that i use i usually just post a picture to you when you ask on my um art page so this canvas that i'm doing today is a nice gallery wrap canvas and it's uh, yeah 50.8 centimeters by 76.2 centimeters i've prepared it on the back with the masking tape so it just leaves the back nice and clean if you've got a nice canvas it's worth doing i've put a couple of these pee pads in because there was a nice big gap there and it's just an opportunity for your pa uh, canvas to sag and the paints to sit in the center so I've just um, yeah probably better that I do it that way just put it there so to stop it sagging and of course my giant push pins so turn it over and just recenter those pads again I know that you're not getting a full view of this canvas um, as I said I'd have to put my camera up a lot higher and I haven't got the um, I haven't got anything that I can hang it from the ceiling sorry so I am gonna do today um, because I love it so much and because it creates such gorgeous works so I'm going to uh, do the swipe down the center so we'll lay all those gorgeous colours. And today I'm actually going to swipe in navy. I don't like swiping in just plain old black and white. I like to just swipe in colours. Um, probably getting going to get something that looks a bit like a pour that I did a few weeks ago. So this, this was on the same size canvas. This one's had two coats of... Um, gloss sealer so that'll protect the, the paintwork and the actual artwork for many years to come I'm hoping so that was it's going to be similar to this but it's in the peacock colours so. I'm just overwhelmed and thank you all so much for the support that I've been getting and the lovely feedback off people um, especially a couple of people have said that their children love watching and they watch with their mom, which is absolutely wonderful. So in the coming days, I am going to do a video, especially for your children. That's going to be an easy um, video to do with children, but I'll go more into that uh, as, as that happens. Okay, I'll get started with this. Now, this was just a bit of white that I added the turquoise too just so I could use it up so I'm going to everything was um, done as I said pre-made with my Elmer's glue all pouring medium and I add my pouring medium just slowly to my paint whatever quantity of paint I put in there I just add it slowly until I get the quantity of pouring cream that's gone. Okay, I'm going to go with the turquoise next. So this one is the um, 
Global Turquoise. Global Paints are Australian brand and I don't think they're either being made anymore or they've switched company or something. Um, not sure about that, but there, there is some you can still buy if you're in Australia. Now I've got my toggles off my shirt dripping in my paint. So I just love this particular way because it gives different results every single time. I know that I have a, a lot of people watch the same technique over and over, which you do, but as you know, if you're trying this, it just comes out different every time. The paint morphs just beautifully and with the colours layered. Um, I think I'm going to just have to tuck my toggles in my shirt, otherwise they're going to be painted and that'll be another shirt ruin. Okay. So that was turquoise. This one, I think this one's called Stormy. I have put all the colours on my um, acrylic art by Jilly Cube Facebook page. I've put a picture of them and the kind of paints that they are. So there's kind of uh, all like colours of a peacock apparently, the peacock colours. So this is was my commission brief that they be colours of a peacock. So <laughs> I, I'm gonna have to not get too stressed out when I do any commissions that I, I seem to get stressed out and then they don't ever turn out like I want them to. Um, but I'm just gonna, yeah, I've just gotta relax a bit about it. When I'm doing them for myself or for just to sell, and they're not for a particular person. I don't seem to have the anxiety is what I do when I'm trying to do something that's a specific request. Okay, this is Crimson. So it's a purple and you can add the um, cool red to deepen it, uh, the purple, or you can add some more blue. So they're just custom colours that you might want to make up yourself. So I want to try not to put too much paint on this particular canvas and overload it. Um, so I better slow down with the colours. I'm going to get some more. Now this is um, turquoise again, but it was an L. Uh, what brand was this one? Okay, this one is actually the only one I'm using because I love their turquoise so much, is the Montmal turquoise. It's a lighter and I do love that. But you can make that by just putting some white in a deep turquoise or deep teal. Okay. Might just pour a little bit over the corners being so just to... As I said before, you don't have to stress out if you don't stretch your paint right over the corners because you run off, you can just finger dab it and it will cover your corners beautifully. Don't have to stress too much about that. Okay, I have got this lovely pale lilac. Uh, I think it was called, it's just called Plum, but it's obviously a lot paler than my crimson, crimson. So I'm just gonna give this a couple of figure eights just to get a bit of it in, a bit more in where I've got some gaps, but absolutely sure that my, once I've tilted it, okay, tiny bit of this, it's called Horizon, but it's like a, beautiful candy pink so I'm gonna what will bring all these colors out is when I do the swipe in navy it'll just hopefully or be confident Julie it'll be a perfect um, stand out it'll make them stand out beautifully so I think I've well and truly overloaded that, but I had this one gorgeous colour that I wanted to try and it 
is by El Dorado, El Dorado Paints, which I'm not actually that particular happy with the paints because they're not really, when you pour them out, they're quite runny consistency before you even put any pouring medium. But the colour was lovely. It's called Metallic Palm Green, which I love the palm green. So, and I have made the palm green metallic myself in the past by just adding silver to it. But I just wanted to get a little bit in there. So I'll just give it a bit of a swirls. So it's just got a little bit in there. I'll have to do another painting that's got that colour more. Okay, sorry that I can't get the whole canvas in the frame, but hopefully I'll try and get my husband to do me another setup. It's got a some kind of um, tripod that stands up higher, or some kind of um, filter for my camera that can get a wider angle. Is that probably what I need? So again, this is obviously a lot heavier because it's a bigger canvas. And it's a gallery wrapped with the deep edges so it's always a lot more trickier so again that I'll tell you when I'm tilting is just always to try and recenter your paint so you, when you've done a tilt off one end okay let's recenter it bring it back so you don't get the paint running off or sitting thickly in one area so okay i'm just tilting it towards me at present time which probably get all over my shirt but that happens that happens okay tilting it back i just love that palm green in there i might have to add a bit more of that but it's gorgeous 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 now tilting it back over that way Yes, it gets quite heavy when it's um, already a heavy canvas, a gallery wrap canvas. So, yeah. so I've had a bit of a crook neck this last couple of weeks, but I think it's standing stirring paint. My table might be a little bit lower than it probably could be. So these are just things you have to adjust if you're doing this kind of art. Um, consistently every day nearly every day like I'm doing try and fit in at least a couple of hours or an hour a day doing some work if I'm going out for the day that's obviously don't stress over it but it's so enjoyable for me so okay let's recenter that paint back again taking it back Okay, I'm just going to cover the very bits that haven't gone over the corners, as I've said before, just with finger popping paint that's dropped off it, that I've tilted off and then just dab with my fingers. Don't worry about any special tool because it's an abstract painting and it, it always dries nicely. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's looking fine. Okay, I'm just going to wash my hands off. It's all looking good. So, okay. Let the magic happen. This is what causes the magic to happen doing my thin blue line, thin navy line all the way. Might do just back one, oop, do, ooh, bit thick there. Do not want the navy to overtake it. What I am creating doing this is it causes the jilly clusters, as I said many times, my granddaughter's name for them. Um, the, it clusters and it causes like an effect of 3D effect. Um, and it also gives a nice um, shadow 
around the cluster it looks looks like they've yeah they've got a shadow around them so here we go we'll get started it's my lovely plastic file divider best swiping tool ever just maybe about a centimeter drop the top into and draw it back towards you nice and slow no hurry all good okay oh I can see already that that's gonna be really gorgeous really really exciting pretty good when you can have um, a hobby or a pastime that excites you that you love doing and especially if, you know nowadays that you can make these YouTube videos and let everybody else have a go at what you're doing and tutor them and show them just brings so much sharing the joy sharing the joy now I've missed that bit but I'm not gonna stress over it just try and bring a bit more of this navy down over it all good as you can see that's already starting to form some nice little cells there oh. let's go this side oh just drop it in slowly pouring your na uh, pulling the navy gently over the top of the other colors it's just what's going to create your kind of 3d effect that dark color gives the shadow that it kind of looks like your clusters are floating now lots of people get to this actual stage and love how this just looks on its own because you can kind of do a um a reflection look if you allow this to dry and then paint some buildings or hills or whatever it looks as though it's reflecting back on water that's just another little idea I think I've done in a previous video okay that's looking really nice really happy with that so far so good so I'll just grab my butane torch My coffee's gone cold, but that's so good. I oh, get some nice things happening, some nice morphing. So again, my butane torch, what I do is, if you're not used to this big torch, don't use it. Use the, the cream brulee smaller gas torch. It will do the same thing if you just take your time. Just Now this is what's creating my jilly clusters. I know there's lots of people saying I can't get those clusters I've done exactly what you're doing but as I find they're not you're not using the same paint brand or you may not be using the same pouring medium all pouring mediums and paint act differently they won't all do this some paints go excellent with um, Elmer's glue all and some don't you have to use the proper pouring mediums but most of them will go with some kind of PVA water mix as your um, pouring medium you don't have to use a commercial pouring medium in this art and besides the people that are making the pouring mediums are just ripping us all off they charge so much like hundreds of dollars for four litres of pouring medium that's disgusting sorry but it is when you can get beautiful results using far more uh, cheaper products but still archival quality look at that that's coming up what will happen now over the over time is this all just start to morph those cells will start to grow like they're morphing and they'll grow larger and will grow together what happens then the navy will get pushed and it will become like an outline around a lot of the clusters now somebody said that the camera is not too good at showing how gorgeous that is at this present time 
I'm not sure what I'll be able to do about that, but all I can do is take you in a bit closer to the clusters and show you how gorgeous they actually are morphing into. Now, as I've said before, you could either leave it at this stage, which is absolutely fine because that will all um, expand and morph into one another. It can cause butterfly looks, it can cause dragonflies, whole myriad of things. I will probably leave this one all together like this, or I may very well do a balloon kiss in it. I've actually been asked to do the balloon kissing. I might just pop one balloon on it just now, but I know it's probably holding too much paint. We'll, we'll give it one little go before I say goodbye to you. Usually, if you're going to balloon kiss at this stage, it's usually got too much paint on it, needs to dry off a bit, especially down the center. So if I just do this and it all, that's not too bad. It has fallen back in a little bit, but not too much. So if you balloon kiss, just press it in, take it out. Yeah, that's falling back in too too much so I'm not going to I just one on the edge to try it just press and then roll that gives a lovely effect too those are really nice effects but I'm going to leave this now I am going to leave this one for the time being because it's a bit too wet but as you can see the balloon kissing does give a gorgeous effect and especially when the paint's a little so if the paint dries a little bit can give these lovely whimsical fairy type look on it but that's I'm pretty pleased with that that's the peacock colors I'll put it on my acrylic art Facebook page and of course um, please subscribe to my YouTube channel thank you very much um, really appreciate your support and your beautiful comments that are coming in um, you have no idea how much it's lifted me and give me faith that there's some beautiful people out there. Thank you.